But actually, um, the button does contain a tool tip, I think. So maybe I do want to make a button. Sorry about that. Um, just so I can, I don't want to leave things out and then get questions later. So why don't we, yeah, it does contain the tool tip. So why don't we duplicate this? Change this to upgrade human damage. I'll just call it that. Uh, tool tip, okay. Upgrades the damage dealt by your units. I'll just make it custom so that you can see that it worked. Slightly custom. And these got changed, okay. Let's make sure that's the right name, good. Go back to abilities. And info, where is this? Here it is. And now let's change this to upgrade human damage. There was the button, right button now. Okay. And if I went in game, the issue would be that I can, while while my upgrade is set to only 10 levels, um, this would still, this uh, damage upgrade would still be visible for 20 levels. It just wouldn't be doing anything and I could keep purchasing it and that would be really pointless. So I discovered that I need to make a requirement and this took me a while to figure this out. And we want to copy um, learn Terran, where is it? Terran infantry weapon. Uh, okay, that's good. And duplicate. Okay. Learn human damage upgrade. And this is, I still have trouble fully understanding this. But um, I'm just going to punch in the values I have from my notes, and then I can kind of show you what they mean. Um, so under use, we need to add a requirement node and make this less than or equal to. And then we need to add another one and add another two. So um, count of upgrade, where is that? And we need to make this human damage upgrade, where is it? Did I just name it damage upgrade? I just did name it damage upgrade, okay. Um, with completed. And then this thing is gonna be constant 10. There we go. And under here, it's going to be less than, uh, there we go. And count human, did I just call it damage upgrade? Why do I keep calling it human damage upgrade? There we go, um, queued or better with constant 10. And so what I believe is this is how, it, this is the condition that it'll show the icon in the command card of the building, uh, of down here in your interface in game. And this is, I believe, um, what, I'm not totally sure what this means, but this, I put this in here and it works. So let's just leave it at that. And uh, this less than is good. And let's save. So, um, hold on. There we go, right name. Um, and now let's go to our abilities. Where's our abilities? Okay, HQ research. So let's go back to upgrade human damage and make sure we select the one we just made. Learn, what was it? Learn, was it damage upgrade or human damage upgrade? I don't remember what I called it. I really should, uh, Remember the things I do here. There we go, learn human damage upgrade. And set that to okay. Okay, and we'll save. And that's good. So what else do I have to do here? Um, I think, well, I think that's okay, but I'm not totally sure. Let me just check my notes. Um, uh, I think that's good. Okay, so we have our 10 levels here. Um, yep, our research has the requirement in there. Um, and now does our building, our HQ building have the ability? No, it doesn't. So in here, we are going to add a fourth ability called HQ research and that ability is the one we just made and then we go to the command card here and I had it right here let's go new um, I don't know anything's fine 
why don't I just pick uh, this one right here, which happens to be the damage upgrade. This is just the button, by the way. Let's make an ability, HQ research, and research upgrade human damage upgrade. Okay, that is good. And if everything went well, I believe we are done with the data editor, but um, as always, things tend to go wrong. So um, once I do the next tutorial, which will be the trigger editor, um, we're going to go in game and test, and I might be making a return to the data editor depending on whether or not I had a lot of bugs in it. Um, well, I'm guessing I will. So um, that concludes this tutorial, and the next one will be setting up all the triggers to do uh, all the waves and set up the player to get going and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yep, thanks for listening.